goes away. Excuse my language. <laughs> you had to do more prepping than I do. We gotta get you a blue hat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting on here laughing at you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. another episode of the Diary Room Table with Jim Clays. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're going to talk about um, an important topic today. We're going to talk about college. And is it really worth it? Um, you know, just give our opinions about it. You know, you can agree, disagree, be indifferent, doesn't matter. But we just want to share with you what our thoughts on it. So since Kendra came up with the topic, she's going to go first. Um, do I think college is important? Do you really need it? I feel like in 2018 now, I feel like a lot of jobs want you to have more experience than uh, education. It's a lot of people I know that aren't, that don't have a degree, that have high positions. Um, honestly, I feel like it's a waste of money. I know for me personally, I wanted to finish college because that was a personal goal. I, um, I got my associate's degree in criminal justice in 2011. I felt like I, I I felt like I was was going to be able to get a job like detective work or something. I start off, you know, working at a police station and whatnot, but that didn't that didn't happen. And my dad really wanted me to finish college and get my bachelor's degree, but I just felt like I did. I just felt like I wasn't in the mood, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to focus on my music, but eventually I went back to school in 2014 and got my bachelor's degree in business. Um, and it's been a year because I graduated last year mm -hmm. and um, yeah, the job I'm, I'm doing now, which I love, has nothing to do with what, with what I graduated with. Um, I'm grateful for my job, but I also feel like since I have a degree, I should be making more or doing more, but then there's not too many options out there for, I don't think, um, and like I said, you need experience, and I didn't. I don't have a lot of work experience, so for me, I don't feel like it's needed. But you know. Yeah, I um I graduated from college in 2008. For me, college was like the next. It was like the next step after high school. It was like one of those things. It's like okay, you graduate from high school, either you go into the military, you get a job, or you go to college. So for me, it was like I went to college, and it's like I wanted. Actually, I wanted to go. I mean, it wasn't like it was forced upon me, but it was. It was a. It was one of the decisions I had to make because I wasn't gonna be sitting around the house doing nothing after I got out of high school. So, but I wanted to go to college. I was excited about it mainly because you know TV shows they depict college life as this. Um, we talked about this last week, but this grandiose thing. You're gonna meet your like your real life true best friends. You're gonna meet the love of your life. You're gonna join a, a fraternity or sorority gonna step all day and <laughs> that's that's it maybe go to class uh, occasionally you know that's something i do, I do. <laughs> I do go to you're gonna go to the parties go, go to all the parties all the time but you know uh for me my college life was different i went i did meet some great friends i did do that um and then um i just graduated and that was it but i got a job after i graduated from college i came back to augusta worked at the news station was working part-time was making minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Um, the funny thing is, my dad was like, Well, since you have a degree, he didn't know, but since he's like, since you have a degree, you should ask him about you know, moving moving up into a full time position because you got a degree now. Um, that's not how it works. Um, there was no position open for full time, so it wasn't automatic. You autom it's not like you automatically get more money or a position because you got a degree. That's not how the that's not how it works in the real world. So mm -hmm. I had to wait until it's my turn and then our the stations merged, our stations merged with another station, then a full time position became open for in the news department and I went that route. So that's how I started getting a full time position. But even then I wasn't really making as much as a college graduate should be making. So it was just kinda of just like 
I was still on Team Struggle Bus. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, even now, like, I'm definitely on Team Struggle Bus. Um, we I, driving the bus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, we on we on the back, back of the bus, <laughs> like, Rosa Parks style. Like, I mean, it's like... <laughs> Like I'm just saying, like right, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and disclose this right now. I make seven twenty five an hour. That's below minimum wage, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. I make I, I work in I work. I'm like I said, I'm grateful for my job. My job is flexible, whatever. But I don't make the money that a college graduate should be making, allegedly or whatever. So to answer the question, do I think college is worth it? I think for me in my life, it was worth it as far as meeting people mm-hmm. and giving me the skill set I needed to. Do some of the things that I'm doing now, but as far as in the long run, as far as like I think every day, I'm just like, dang, I, if I didn't go to college for those four years, I could be like working and at least be in a manager managerial position or something, right? And making more money doing something else or whatever. So I just think it's all perspective. Um, but right now, my answer right now in this perspective is no. <laughs> Maybe when I make a little bit more money, then my perspective will change. But right. like I'm in a situation where like my job, what I have now, has you don't have to have a college degree to have it. Like, I, there's a high school working my job now. Like, that has the same position I have. Mm-hmm. They're in high school. Right. And they're doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Probably make a little bit more than I am. I don't know. They've been there for, like, two years. So, I, I'm, so I'm don't sure. go to college, kids. I'm just lying. Nah, that's not <laughs> that message. <laughs> <laughs> but, Carmen? Um, I think I'm going to say yes or no. Um, I think I say yes because it's good, especially if you go off to school, it's really good to get experience. Like as far as kind of learning to kind of taste that little bit of freedom that you have when you go off to school. Um, I think I think that's important for uh, anybody to experience coming like fresh out of high school. Or even if you're not fresh out of high school, but just like going off to school is actually like a, a really good experience to have um because everybody is not for everybody and you you you'll figure that out like after a semester or two um but do i think as far as like for working not really because um i know a lot of people that have their degrees and um they sh- struggle to get a job mm-hmm. like if anything, the struggle seems to be a little bit harder yeah. when you have a degree because it's a lot more competition. It's other people that have degrees and they're trying to get same jobs and stuff, you know, and everybody and then everybody's demanding a certain amount of pay and stuff like that. Like the work the the job world is very competitive. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people don't really understand that. Um and that's why people are just like, you should go to school. Go to school. And you'll get a better job. Go to school and you'll get more money. If you get your master's degree, you're going to get even more money. And it's like, that's not always the case, you know. Um, so I think, I think it just depends on what you want to do and where you work. I think that really determines on the pay and the position that you get um, and the competition in, in that area mm-hmm. of work like in that field of work but I don't really think that a degree is necessary necessary like Kendra said in 2018 a lot of people are trying to be their own bosses anyway right yeah. and um a lot of people I was looking at jobs last week actually a week ago today and I saw a job that I was interested in now I'm not in school for English or writing anymore I changed my major to business marketing and the job was just asking for somebody that likes to blog. Mm. Now, I have experience in that because I have a blog. I don't need a degree for that. Like, they weren't even asking for a degree. They just, and they actually prefer that you don't, like, if you have a little experience, not, not even a whole lot of experience. Mm-hmm. So, the, to get a job, um, you can get one without a degree, I personally believe. You know, I, and I've, I've witnessed that. Like, I see a lot of people that, I see a lot of people that get, um, Jobs without. What are you doing? Sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> somebody keep calling me from Birmingham. Yeah, but stop being weird, Birmingham. <laughs> uh, I've I've seen a lot of people get jobs that are either still in college or um, in high school, and they make good pay, you know, without a degree. So I don't really think it's necessary. 
Yeah, I know. I know our dad really wanted all of us to get our college education because during the time where he, you know, times are so different. It's amazing how times change because it's like when he was in his thirties, late twenties, you needed your degree, and he didn't have he didn't have one at the time. Right. So he really wanted us to go to college. Um, that's why he was kind of he wanted me to go back to school or whatever, and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, but I feel like if it's for you, then you should go. You shouldn't let nobody tell you not to go if that's something you want to do. Like Carmen said, you need the experience. I didn't get to go off to college. Um, part of me wish I would have, but another part of me is glad that I stay here because I feel like I'd be a totally different person. But anyway, um, if it's meant for you to go to college and God, that's what God is telling you to go, then you should do it. And if not, and if you feel like you need more work experience, then you should do that. I feel like everybody's journey is different. You shouldn't allow people to tell you what to do just because it worked for them doesn't mean it'll work for you, vice right. versa. Right. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, um, I just think, like, like a lot like Carlton, I wouldn't have met the people that I know now though, right. if I hadn't gone off to school, you know. So that's why I feel like it was a necessary journey for me. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. You know, it's like, because you get the experience of just just meeting different people you see and meet people that you've never seen before and you never imagined to ever see you know and it's it's really cool but i don't you know i just don't really think it's necessary as far as work yeah i think college jobs. yeah i think college for me was just more of a personal thing like as far as i'm grateful for people that i met i'm grateful that i went off to college because i became a lot more independent right. mm -hmm. um you know it, it helped me grow on my spiritual journey right um yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Like I said, well, as far as like job wise, I've really not seen the benefits of it. Yeah, I say it every time. I'm be I'm being one hundred percent transparent. I be like, I really went to college for this. I think a lot of people would say that. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, that have graduated from college, like y'all, you know, would say that. You know, that have kind of struggled to find a job, like a a consistent job, right? Yeah, or a career path that they actually like. Um. Okay. So. There are a lot of reasons why you do need to go to college or why you should want to go to college, rather. Um, some of my best friends, you know, I was that person who really did meet their best friends for life in college. Um, those girls have been with me through thick and thin and will be with me through thick and thin, and I'm forever grateful for that. However, um, I personally um, have been blessed and fortunate enough to kind of honestly stumble into a career that has allowed me to take care of myself financially my family financially um with the help of my husband without needing a degree or really any college experience I've been doing for those of you who know me and know where I work without going into too much detail um I've been doing what I've been doing since I was 18 years old and um, I kind of just work my way up through the ranks and now I'm like a general manager and I'm making really good money um, with, you know, something that I've been doing since I graduated high school. Um, not to say that everybody will be that fortunate, but I'm kind of that example of why you don't need college or a degree to get a good job. Um, a lot of people in my field have been doing it for years and I don't know if they have degrees or not. They, they just do what I do. Um, so not to deter anybody from going to college, but, you know, I, I would say if you do decide to pursue higher education, please make sure that it is something that you are truly passionate about, something that you really want to spend the rest of your life doing, whether it's for good money or not. I'll just leave it there. Okay? Uh, okay. Well, I don't think you need it. Honestly, I don't bet it's different for everybody. So this question is kind of it's kind of hard to this to. It's not a right answer to it. I would say. I mean, you can give your advice, but for me, I don't think college is for everybody. Honestly, um, school is not for everybody. A lot of the the highest paid people are dropouts of high school. If you if you look at it, so it's not for everybody. Now I'm not saying drop out of high school, drop out of college, and think that you'll make it, that you'll just make it. I'm not saying that at all. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't um, do that. What I'm saying is, it's just this question, 
it's just that's just how it is. It's not for everybody. So it's a case by case thing. Yeah, it's for me. I'll talk about myself. Um, I was in college, of course. That's how I met her. Uh, so we were we went to the same college. Um, and I've I've realized that it wasn't for me. Um, it wasn't meant for me. Uh, I was in college, kind of just doing. I think I was there because I felt like I had to be. Or um, I, I graduated high school, and you know, it's like they didn't have a job out of high school. I was so focused on basketball that I, that job wasn't in my, in my mind. So when I left high school, it was kind of like a, well, I want to sit at my parents' house or not do anything or have a job. It's just, you know, I want to, let's go to college. Let's experience what it is. Or let's do what it is. Everybody's going to college. My sister's up there. Let's go, let's go be with my sister. So, um, so that's what it was for me. Uh, I went because of that. I said I want to be a physical therapist, but as I kept going through and realized what it took to be a physical therapist, or I would have to go four years and then go another like two or three years in order to actually start working. Um, it was too much for me. I'm I'm, I'm not a school person. I hate school. Uh, studying sucks. Um, tests suck. I, everything is just trash to me with school. So it's not meant for me, but I will say this, um, getting a job is hard. It will be harder. Yeah. I'm not saying that you, you know, she, like she said, she got blessed. She was working there since she was 18. It's not like that for everybody. Everybody's not going to be blessed like that. Like me, I didn't have a job. My first job was with my dad, literally. Um, so when you leave your, your dad, who is your boss, and go somewhere else, it's not easy. I literally have was without a job when we moved up here for about two months. Two months without a job because my resume was with my dad, and it is what it is. I mean, it was whatever. But now I can't say I'm making good money. I am making very good money now without a degree. Um, I got blessed with this job. Uh, they I, they saw something in me that I probably didn't even see myself. So I'm still trying to figure that out right now. I mean, I've only been working there for two weeks. But if you knew my pay, you would be surprised of what it, of what it is. Um, especially for somebody who doesn't have a degree in just two years of college, which is just basically taking math again that you took in high school. But um, but the answer to the but my answer to the question is no, you don't need it to get a good job, but you should have it because it would make it so much easier for you now i'm not saying just go like she said i'm not saying just go to college just to go um if you go to if you're gonna spend four more years and pay for it i see if you weren't paying for it like high school then go just go just do it but you're paying for this this is gonna be with you forever uh do something you love um I want to go back to school because it would make my life easier, but I don't have anything that I want to do right now. So I'm not finna waste my money. Not even my money. I'm not finna start, get another loan just to have to pay it back and not be doing something I love that I'm not passionate about. So I don't care how much money I'm making. I don't care. If I'm not, if I don't like it, I'm not doing it. Period. Um, As of right now, job wise, I gotta do what I gotta do. I got a family. But school wise, I'm not doing it. So that's what I gotta say about it. Just if you go go to college, do something you love. If you don't love it and you're conf- you don't know what you what you wanna do, don't waste your money. Just just figure it's okay. It it's okay to sit down and figure out what you wanna do. People always say, Well, if you don't go to college, you're never you gonna go. Learn. That's not true. That's not true. My dad just graduated not too long ago. My mom went to college for four years, and she's not even doing what she went to college for. She went back to school to be a beautician. So, so as of right now, it's it's like a just do, go, do what you love, <laughs> basically. Moral of the story: follow, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Man. <laughs> we sound uh, like a bad Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do. A lot of people like like I said when I first started. We gotta keep it short because we were actually talking for a long time. Um, Are we? It's like eight minutes. Oh, dang. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people... We're passionate about this topic. Yeah, we are. Uh, a lot of people who are dropouts but are really famous now and have a lot of money follow their passion. 
they didn't care what anybody said. They didn't, they didn't, um, you know, think about it too much. It was what they wanted to do. They loved it. They followed it. And look at them now. So if your passion doesn't have to do with college, but you you know you can succeed at it, go for it. Now I'm not saying just be broke all the time and you're chasing your dream. Yeah, you gotta find you gotta find a job. Basically, what That's I'm saying talent. when you're find, when you're following your dream, and it's not like job related. You try to be your own boss. Get a job, and that way, that's the money for your dream. So, basically, they're pay. They don't know that, but they're paying you to fulfill your dream. Invest in yourself. Basically, that's what's happening. They're investing in you, but they don't know that yet. So that's what a job is for people like that, like my brother, whose whose dream is to be a famous director, writer, producer, all of that, which he's gonna get it. But right now, he has a job, and that's his. And what he's doing is invested in his dream, so that way he can keep building on it. You know, getting that that little bit chunk of change is is great for your dream. So, shout out to him anyway. Shout out to you, Carlton. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I gotta say about it. I think I'm talking too much, but um, I yeah, it's passionate for me because I I'm not in college anymore. I dropped out of college. That's the crazy um, thing is I'm still in college. Yeah, I dropped out of college. Whole psych major. Yeah, I just. It's not for me right now, so. And that's understandable. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll go back. Maybe I won't. But if I do, it'll probably be for like some some type of business thing. But we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm done talking. All right, so, like we said, you know, this isn't a us trying to deter people from college thing. It's a uh, really the adult thing to do once you graduate high school is really do some deep self evaluation and figure out what's right for you, not what everyone else says is right for you, because you'll end up thousands of dollars in debt. Yeah, trust me. To get a degree and have a job that pays you like eight dollars an hour. A lot of people are working jobs that they don't really enjoy. You know, that they don't like, they didn't, and it has nothing to do with what they went to school for, you know. And I think that sucks. Like, it's really sad. Because it's really honestly just a, it's just a, it's a big joke, you know, because it's just for money. You really think about it. Absolutely. The government just wants money. It's like, the more, like, the more college you go, the more college you, education you try to get, it's like, the more in debt you, you, you are, you get yourself right. into. Yeah, I know for me, I'm like... Y'all not getting, y'all more than likely, you probably not going to get that money back. Because my thing is, if y'all really needed that bad, y'all wouldn't be giving it out so much. Mm. So, That's true. you might get it back if I'm feeling bad about it. But more than likely, I'm not going to feel bad about it. So, yeah, sorry, Sally Mae, Mary Beth, whoever. Not bad. But I just kind of feel like if you really want people to go to school, and if it's really beneficial... I mean, it shouldn't even, it shouldn't be so expensive. It should. You know, right. like, it, help us out. Like, you should be willing to help us out. Right. Like, you should want to help us get an education. If, if it's if it's really that serious, right. if it's really that important, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Right. You shouldn't have to take out loans right. all the time that you expect me to pay you back. Like, right. you know, that's ridiculous. Obviously, you don't really want me to go to school that right. way. You just want me to pay some money. Right. And then, back to the job thing, like, I even tried to apply for jobs that I didn't even want. Like, I knew I was going to be, like, not happy with, but, like, it's, a, it's, it's again, it goes back to your skill set and your experience. It's like, I tried to apply for one job. It was at University Hospital or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's a regular job. Just, you know, I guess answering, I guess doing medical records or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, didn't require, it didn't require you to have a medical degree or be a doctor. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get it because it was, like, lack of experience. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it was like, you, I'm, I feel like with my degree... I'm stuck having to try to get either some type of communications job yeah. or yeah. somewhere in news or work at teleperformance or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, or ADP. or And even then, I applied to ADP didn't get a job. So, I mean... Yeah, it takes a couple of times to ADP. Because, yeah. like, the first time I didn't get nothing, the second time I got into an interview 
And my best friend, she works there. She told me, yeah, it's going to take a couple times. I ain't got a couple times. I ain't got the patience for that. No. But I'm going to tell my nephew now, you need to go ahead and get a job now while you two are one. <laughs> so you can have that work experience. Because <laughs> clearly, what, what, when do we have time to have work experience? In the Mississippi school. Right. <laughs> what do you want? You need to pick or choose. Which is kind of like I, I had a job after I graduated high school. I wish I would have kept because maybe that would have been my work experience. But like I told my parents, I said, it's either college or uh, this job. I really should have just said, I'm going to do the job instead of going to college because I still sucked at it. And yeah. I just, um, I guess for me, like like Kendra said, it's, it's more of a personal goal. I want to graduate because I do want to get my degree. Mm -hmm. And I have to just remember, like, I'm not doing it for anybody else. Yep. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it for anybody else. Like no. I'm gonna do it for myself because it's an accomplishment for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be able to say I have my degree in business marketing, and I have something to show for it by you know, launching my a couple of my own businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm in, I'm doing this because I want to learn more about the business, the the business side of work of the world. You know, like it's it's helping me, and I'm learning a lot. So that's why I'm doing it. You know, it's not because. I mean, of course, I'm going to make my parents proud, but it's just something that I want to do for myself. Right. And so I had to just kind of keep that in mind, especially when I start feeling like this is just going to be a waste of time. When I start to feel that way, I'm just like, well, no, because it's going to benefit me because I have the education. Like, that's that's the main thing. It's just me learning. I try not to think about whether or what I'm going to do when I graduate. I'll just I'll worry about that. Yeah, I said I um I want to get my master's. It has nothing to do with trying to get more money or but or a better job. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only better job I can get is when I you give me that money to do my own thing. <laughs> um, that's the only better job I can see me having. But um, I it, it's a personal thing for me because I always want my um my master's. So yeah, a kid just trying to dance and talk about not my baby. Yeah, your baby mm -hmm. going to work, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Diapers and all, yeah. milk and all. Go ahead and get him ready for the workforce. He walking out too, so time to go ahead and get that workforce. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it's it's a it's a personal thing for me. I want to get my master. I always want to get my master. So it's something I just I do eventually. It happens yeah. when it happens, and if it don't, you know, it is what it is. But you know, so yeah, that's all I got really. I don't have anything else. I just think it's a it's a personal thing. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? do it. I, Go for it. Just be just be sure you're sure about it and you're doing it for you and don't do it for anybody right. else. That's what I was gonna say. Do it for yourself. Yeah. So don't let anybody pressure you to go to college. And, yeah. And don't let nobody then at the same time don't nobody dissuade you from going either. If right. that's something that you really want to do, then you you do what you what you can do. I I want to share this real quick. It's not uh, somebody who go to church. Our keys. He had really really want to go to college, specific college, mm -hmm. and he did what he had to do to go to college. So. He did that, and now he's at he had he's at Morehouse, you know, doing his thing. So and and if you ever feel like you need to, if you get overwhelmed, you ever feel like you need to take a break? Cause I had to take a break. If you ever feel that way and you start feeling like burnt out, please take the break. Mm -hmm. Cause school will always be there. Yep. yep. That's one thing about being in college; it'll always be there. You can always just pick up and go back. You just you got to give yourself pace yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, guys, that's it for us today. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Dining Room Table with Dim Place, and we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> peace, peace, peace.